G'day, you're watching the channel Adelaide Toy Collector. My name is Chris, thank you so much for tuning in. I try to bring you a brand new video each and every week and today we are back with another episode of From the Vault. Now, if you are a first time viewer here, thank you and welcome to the channel. And if you have been around and been a subscriber, hey, thanks so much for your ongoing support. And speaking of my ongoing supporters, uh, if you have seen the series that I've been putting out called From the Vault, you'll know that uh, every single one that I've done has been pop, uh, Funko Pop related. And today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to focus on my favourite toy of my favourite character. Now, as much as I love the Funko Pop vinyls, and there is one of this uh, particular character, um, I've decided that I'm not focusing on that because that's not my favourite toy of my favourite character. Are you following along? I fingers crossed, I hope so. Um, so my favourite Marvel character of all time, and for anyone who knows me, is Kane Marco. Now, Kane Marco is aka the Juggernaut, the stepbrother of Professor Charles Xavier. And the figure I'm going to show you is just probably the best figure I've seen of any Marvel character ever. So I'm glad that, you know, this is my favorite character because this figure is absolutely astonishing. So here he is, Kane Marco, the Juggernaut. He's got the helmet on, he's got these massive arms, he's got the humongous amount of amazing strength. Um, it's a fantastic figure, it's really quite poseable. Um, I love the little details of, like, as you move his body, you can see his chest plate here actually moves as well. So I think that is just fantastic. Um, you know, you can really, with these types of figures, you can um, make some awesome action poses. Um, and there are quite a number of um, figures in the line. Um, I'm trying to think. I think they're called Diamond Select. I think that's the name of the brand. Um, I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it's diamond. They come in like a big box, um, like a like there's plastic on the front of the character and then a card attached to it. But I'm pretty sure they're called diamond. Um, but yeah, this is the Juggernaut, as I said. Um, so for those who follow Marvel and the X-Men in particular, um, yes, yeah, so this is uh, Kane Marco, the Juggernaut. He is Professor Charles Xavier's half-brother. So in... Quick, give you a quick story. His father married Charles Xavier's mother and the Juggernaut got very, very, very jealous because his dad became quite um, fond of Professor Charles Xavier as a child because, you know, Professor Charles Xavier is the sort of nerdy um, kind of kid and Kane Marco was kind of like that um, big, rough college kind of football sort of guy. And his father was a scientist, and so he got along with Charles Xavier better than his own son. So his son got very, very, very jealous. Um, but Kane Marco got this power from the Crystal of Sidorak. Um, it gave him superhuman strength. And the wonderful thing is, as you know, if you are an X-Men uh, fan, that Charles Xavier uses his mental powers to be able to read minds and things. This uh, armor that the Juggernaut actually has, it's impenetrable. Imp Penetratable? Is that the word? Impenetratable? You know what I'm saying. Professor Charles Xavier can't read his own stepbrother's um, thoughts because his powers can't penetrate this armour. And so it's it's fantastic. Um, there was a really amazing um, section of the old 90s um, X-Men cartoon um, where Juggernaut was very prevalent in the series. There was um, like a space... Um, this is now this is going off memory so you'll have to excuse me because it could be way off but if i remember rightly there was like these aliens that were fighting and they came down and i know like everyone thinks they can't stop the unstoppable the unmovable juggernaut but this one character i can't even think of his name but he just like pushed juggernaut to the side um as if he was just like you know tissue paper or something it was incredible um but for the most part though the juggernaut is absolutely Fantastic character. Um, he's incredible. He's always been my favourite. I do have, as I said, the Funko Pop. I don't have it on display. It's in um, it's it's in a um, my um, uh, storage locker. But I do have a couple of other little characters uh, or figures, I should say. There's um, this one, which 
I don't even know why I bought it. It's just because it's the Juggernaut, of course. You know, I paid like $2 for it. Um, not my favourite figure of the Juggernaut, but it is what it is. Um, I had to purchase the Dorbs, the New York Comic Con um, Juggernaut Dorbs, which actually, you know, Dorbs isn't that popular, but they're really cute. They're really chibi-ish, you know, get, I guess in a way. Um, and um, I've got like, obviously the Juggernaut comics. But one thing I did pick up recently was this Juggernaut um, card. And I did that because, you know, obviously he's my favorite, but this card is from the 90s and it's um, it's incredible because these, is it a Fleer card? Because back in my day, when I was a kid, Fleer were the, um, the big, 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 big brand of cards. We used to collect the NBA cards, the Marvel cards. Um, but yeah, these, these were fantastic and absolutely incredible. You know, Kane Marco, he weighs 900 pounds. I've had poos bigger than that though. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. First appearance, there we go. First appearance, X-Men issue number 12, July 1965. So that's the Juggernaut. He's, as I said, my favorite Marvel character. Um, so anyone who knows me knows that the Juggernaut is my absolute favorite, 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 favorite villain of anything. Even, I mean, I'm a Star Wars fanatic, but I would take the Juggernaut any day. Um, so yeah, that's my review from the vault. I've had this figure for five years now. And, oh, I should mention, I got this for 10 bucks at a, at a flea market. I've actually got one of these in brand new in its original packaging in my storage locker that I will not take out because obviously I've got this one. Um, but yeah, I spent $10, I say flea market, I, I keep forgetting um, not to Americanize some of my things, but I have a lot of American supporters, but a flea market, like a, like a big market that we have here. I found this at the Fisherman's Wharf markets for $10 in a box underneath um, all this stuff. And it was like, $10? I have to have it. So that's my favorite figure of all time, um, the Juggernaut, and yeah. Um, just an FYI guys, I've got some awesome videos coming. I've got a, um, a mystery box on its way. I've got, um, oh, I picked up a, a Medusa set from Pop Culture. There's gonna be a review and I might be some spitting some fire in that video. Um, there's some more from the vaults on their way. I apologize that I haven't been um, posting too many videos lately. I have started to cull down my collection a little bit and putting stuff on eBay because I'm trying to be an adult because being an adult can suck. Because, you know, bills and stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I am doing my subscriber giveaways. It's 400 and 750 subscriber giveaways. Um, yeah, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Who's your favorite Marvel character? You know, what's your favorite figure of a Marvel character? I think these Diamond Select figures are fantastic. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, stay safe during COVID-19. And thank you very much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.